Schoolboys. Seriously? That's what you have to say? I want to remind you, brothers. You must know this. What does Allah say about a man with a flat belly compared to a man with a fat belly? Who does he like more? He likes the one that is flat belly. Allah even likes that person. But what does he say about the both? He says there's khair in both of them. And you guys just want to come and label scholars all around the world just because they're not tuning in into one subject which I'm sure they know of. Not probably the monetary system, but everything else they can understand. Yet Allah has put so much khair in them as well. And you want to come and label them as schoolboys, you slip in far, far away. And brothers, you know Mulana Sahib has elaborated this so much about how people will take their Mulanas to be illa. I don't need to tell you about that. You are quite well versed in his lectures. You agree with that. Easy to point the other side. Look at the mirror now. Are you not doing the same? What separates Mulana Imran Hussein from the rest of the scholars, I think, as well as his understanding in Islam, is his speaking ability in English, which the scholars of India, Pakistan, Bangladesh were not able to match, and his PhD. That's the only difference. There is not much of a difference anyway. You all know about the three duas that the Prophet ﷺ made. Out of the two that was accepted, one was not accepted. Which one was that? That was the one where he prayed to Allah so his ummah don't fight each other. That wasn't accepted. But you know what? We shouldn't stop saying that Allah hasn't accepted so it's not going to happen. No, that is a test for us this ummah. It is our duty to unite with each other. This is our challenge Allah has put. Not because he hasn't accepted it, it's not going to happen. Otherwise, why would Allah in the Quran say Grab onto the rope, all of you together. You know the verses there, you know what I'm talking about. If Allah is telling all of us to grab onto the, um, the rope of Islam, all of us together, right? Then you cannot say that Allah has intended for us not to unite. No, Allah's intention for us to unite, He wants us to struggle for that. And furthermore, there's verses in the Quran, Allah talks about whoever they are. If they are creating groups, then there's a big consequences. Big consequences. Don't make them small. Think big. Think global. Think Islam.